Hey guys, um, today I wanted to let you know how our experiment of growing pumpkins or gourds in the high tunnel went. And overall, it went good. It was a good experience. I learned a lot, um, but let me show you some issues that we had. So um, today is November 6th, I believe. And as you can see, everything is pretty much dead. The um, first problem we had, the plants grew well. They grew amazing, quickly, they were very healthy. Um, then, once the plants were kind of larger, our issue was powdery mildew, and it was thick. We started um, raising the sides because it was getting cold, and the um, powdery mildew really um, got worse and worse, and so I found some stuff to use on it, some organic um, spray that um, was made for powdery mildew, and so I sprayed it on them, and it worked pretty well. Um, we still struggled with it a little bit, but I think it was on the plants that I um, didn't spray in the first place, if they were healthy or if they were pretty healthy. Um, so that helped, but I can see growing pumpkins or gourds in a greenhouse or a high tunnel, um, that's definitely going to be an issue. Now these were gourds that were out of a mix. Um, they were out of uh, the gourd mix that I had gotten from Harris Seeds. And so I don't know if they were um, powdery mildew resistant or not. So that might, Annie, lay down. So that might um, play a role in whether or not other types of pumpkins or gourds would grow well in a high tunnel or greenhouse. Another issue I had was the cold. And once it started freezing in here, um, and the frost started hitting in here, which was very early on. I mean, we had late freeze and late frost this year, but um, once it started freezing and frosting outside, it started freezing and frosting in here. So we need to get the second layer on if we want to extend our growing season. But more importantly, we need to find a way to retain the heat in here. And I think had that, had we had that to begin with, um, the they would have lasted a lot longer. They did well um, until it really started the hard frosts hit and the hard freezes hit. Then they the plants died. Um, and we have a thermometer in here now. We showed you that in another video and That has made a difference in us being able to watch the temperatures um, but now Our one of our winter projects is that we find a way to retain heat in here so that we can um, Not have to worry about the frost and the freezes. So that is the second issue that we had but beyond that, it worked amazing. Um, if you found, and we'll try it, try it again next year, but if we found a powdery mildew resistant um, type of pumpkin to grow in here, that would make a big difference, I think. Um, and if we found a way to retain the heat, that would make a big difference. Those were the two biggest challenges. Um, but other than that, they grew really well. I mean, we got in just a few weeks, we got some decent size gourds. And this is, this was a small gourd mix. So this is a small gourd, it's a standard small gourd. So they grew, and they actually kind of grew bigger and better than what they did out there. So I feel like this was successful. We just need to tweak it a little more so that we can extend our growing season with them. We definitely will try a few different varieties in here next year making sure that they're powdery mildew resistant and probably more cold hardy. Um, the thing I worry about that and I'll have to research is that if I get cold hardy, will they be um, tolerant to the high heat that gets in here, especially in the late August um, when it gets very, very hot in Northern Wisconsin. So those are my few concerns, but we'll try it again next year and keep you guys posted on the update for that. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.